toot, toot, toot. What was your favorite? Um, what's your favorite singing warm up? You know, people go, ha la 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 la. My, it would. Or is it gargling the skin flute? No. Okay. Yeah. It would be, um, ha 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 ha. Ha, 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 then you take it up a step. Ha, 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 ha. You just keep doing that. Is that your orgasming noise? Is it, babe? <laughs> <laughs> she did not deny. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon, follow us to it, can't subscribe to the like button. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and the birds chirp. Yes, yes. And princesses Duh. come. They do? Out. Oh. Yeah, I put the pause uh. in there intentionally. <laughs>
Stop looking at me. Uh, I'm, I'm very interested to hear what those things might be. Um, but obviously, we will we will get into all of it. This is, I think, a lot of people what they appreciated most later on, uh, from what I hear, is certain aspects of his performance, um, and then because obviously he had two different characters in this, mm -hmm. and then the whole concept. I think this film had a lot of tonal shifts. From what I'm, I'm sure you, in terms of genre shifts, yeah, it, the the second half basically went into a them trying to be MI3, yeah, kind of right, yeah, uh, or am not MI3 specifically MI, but that didn't that wasn't knee jerky for me. Uh, well, it was just different from what you get in the first half. Oh sure, yeah, uh, the first half is a much more uh, I don't even know what you'd call it. It's like just much more of a a story about the fan, and then it gets into basically a almost a heist style in terms of how fast yeah. a lot, like a lot of stuff comes out sure. in the second half, which I know was uh, knee-jerky for a lot of people, including it was for me as well. Uh, my, I, It's actually kind of interesting that you, you didn't appreciate any aspects of his performance, specifically uh, the fan aspect, because uh, I thought he was actually better in the fan than he was playing... He wasn't, he wasn't really playing himself. He was playing more of a superstar, which is why they yeah. didn't call him Shah Rukh Khan. Right. He was playing more of the stereotypical Bollywood superstar. Right. Um, and I thought he was actually better at playing the fan than he was playing his superstar. If I were to lean, if I had to vote one way or the other, I would agree with you. Because I, I don't know if it was VFX or, or, or makeup or both. It was, I, I think it was more heavily... VFX it might have been a little bit of both generated, and it, I think it was a little bit of both. I think the the teeth were definitely uh, practical, practical. Effects. Yeah, I, I I would think to get his voice a little differently, uh, and the voice, and obviously, well, I'll talk about some of those things yeah, later yeah. on. But, but he that portrayal is the thing I was actually most interested in the entire film because I, I enjoyed that performance. Um, the other one was kind of just uh, I I could throw it away and be like eh, I didn't really. I was like, I think you could have done a little better at playing yourself. <laughs> I mean, once again, he wasn't really playing himself. But <laughs> no, he wasn't. It was, I mean, more him than the fan was. Because uh, was, he was playing a superstar. He was basically playing Shah Rukh Khan. No, oh, it was I, interesting, though, that they didn't call him Shah Rukh Khan. I think that was a, a conscious choice. So people... It was. Even though they even played though it his was, I mean, movies. It's at his they, house. It's at his house. Yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, you know who he's playing. But that's an interesting choice to not make it that. But did you like his performance as the fan before we get into anything else, obviously? Um, or what did you think about it? Yeah. I, I felt... Well, here's, here's one of my biggest frustrations about the film mm. is I've seen enough of SRK's capacity as a legitimate actor to become deeply frustrated when he's in films that are not artistically excellent because I feel he often and far for my liking far mm -hmm. too often uh, sides on the uh, on the side of being a movie star versus being an actor when his capacities as an actor I've seen enough of it I I yearn to see him be the, the I feel like we haven't even seen it but I, we've seen glimmers of my name is Khan is the one I go to all the time I, I genuinely think Shah Rukh Khan could be in the conversation of best actors that are out there, but in in this, while I didn't I didn't have anything particularly blaringly awful in the performances, there was nothing that was definitively wonderful in any way for me with the character. I'm glad that the character seemed fleshed out to a certain extent, mm. but as a whole, I felt like too much of it was reliant upon the differentiation of what he looked like. Um, versus anything that stood out to me as far as flexing. I didn't see anything that was flexing thespianatic yeah. muscle, and I found a couple of moments to be, and I don't know what was going on on set, but the conveyance that I got from it was, this scene is going to be done so we can show you some emotion versus me needing to have seen the scene to compel the story or become mm -hmm. closer to the character. So yeah, there wasn't anything that was particularly you rememberable that at been all. been more because you were already frustrated with the film? Easily. So, like, yeah. Every, yeah. For example, everything when the film heightened. started, 
I was enjoying the fact that he was portraying this character that was so different from himself, and I was interested in where it was going to go. Yeah. But it quickly derailed for me. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, now, I, I, I actually... I don't agree with that assessment of his fan character. I, I, I like that performance. I, I put it in one of his top five, Ugh. that part of his performance in one of his top five performances. So Really? Um, top five? Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and for his performance of the fan? Yeah. But what else would you put there? I, I don't... He, in top five? Not movies. I'm saying... No, his, characters. Yeah. I mean, even in his films. Yeah. No. Who would I, put I, above I, 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 Obviously, Swadesh. Obviously, My Name is Khan. Yep. Okay. Uh, Dev Das, which I know you didn't like. No, absolutely. A hundred percent. No. Um, uh, even as ridiculous and silly as DDLJ is, 100%. A performance, not yeah. a film. No, a you know Correct, that performance. No, I don't agree at all with that. Yeah. I'm talking about a thespianatic performance. His his job at Fan, I think, was the star of this fan film. Um, yeah, I didn't I, I, I didn't see anything in the it, performance that stood out to me as being meritorious. Nothing. I thought I thought he it was there were no blaring problems with it, which that shouldn't be a compliment. A compliment should be I fully believed you were this character, and there were many points where I was very interested and was suspending my disbelief and was astonished at the capacity of what you were doing to transform who you are to become this particular person. Yeah. That, that never happened for me. It did for me, yeah. which is why I'm saying it. I put it in as top three performances. Top three now? No, sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Top five. I, I haven't really fleshed out. Right. I just know because I've I know of his work, what and I, I don't normally... I, I normally go into his films just to be entertained, and I'm not really looking for oh, his standout performance, usually. I, I came into this expecting to see a popcorn movie. I was yeah. not expecting uh, there to be anything no, artistically meritorious. No, I, I'm more saying that's when I go into a Shah Rukh Khan film, I'm not looking for a top five performance in for my list. And so a lot of his films don't get in the top five just because I'm like, eh. It was he did right. fine. It's right. not really his right. performance driven film. It's right. more of a I enjoy watching Shah Rukh Khan because right. he's fun. Uh, so what particular moments and what particular characters? There's a lot. I thought there was a lot of differences between any other characters he's ever played and the fan. Once again, the fan specifically. I know he played two characters in this. The fan character. I thought he showed a lot of emotion. I thought it was very different from his actual whatever the Shah Rukh Khan character name was. Uh, Aryan Khan. No. Uh, jo- Aryan Khanna. I get confused with names. Yeah, yeah he was Guarev was the yeah, fan, Gwarev, and Ariane Connor was Connor. the star. Uh, I thought there was a lot of differences between them, even though there, I, I did see some, obviously, <laughs> moments that obviously frustrated me as well. And I think a lot of that has to do with how the movie itself was made, um, which we will get into. And you didn't I, see I, it, you didn't see any indicating moments or moments where he what, was. That's what I was just. Yeah, saying, where he was conveying emotion rather moments, than feeling it. There were moments of that. Yes, it's still Shah Rukh Khan who I, I don't think is a lot of times the strongest actor, or at least his directors give him that... Okay. That, so uh, you're... that chance to be the strongest actor uh, a lot of times, which is just because he's a commercial actor. Um, okay, so do you have a different criteria for SRK than you would for other actors as far as giving them a this-is-my-favorites kind of thing? Well, favorites and best performance are different for me. Yeah. So DDLJ, I would put in favorites immediately. Okay. This would be, in terms of performance, I mean, uh, films, this would not be anywhere near the top. So this would be one of your favorite roles, not necessarily one of his best roles. fan performance is one of his best performances. As an actor. As an actor. Not one of my favorite performances of his, in terms of, like, it's... Okay, so favorites you th- versus best. So yeah, so you think, you think just I would watch a- DDLJ a thousand times more than I would watch his film. But as a performance, as an actor, you think this yes. is one of his top five best performances as a thespian? Yes, of what we've seen so far. Okay. I think you need to watch the beginning of DDLJ and tell me. No, no, no. That's I'm, a better I'm, performance. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just looking at this in terms of this particular performance. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't. I, I don't. I, I disagree don't put it, with that. Anywhere in the stratosphere. That's fine. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about the the rest of it. Um, what was one of your your major problems? I have a you, long okay, yeah. list. Just start with one. Continuity. Continuity. Which parts? Oh. So we can talk about we can talk about that for twenty minutes. The continuity problems in it were so bad. It I saw. Yeah, I saw. Both. It wasn't just that they were missed; it's that they clearly didn't care. They just didn't care because if you cared, you wouldn't let those mistakes happen. You just wouldn't. Mm. It was, it's shot. It's done. Move on. Next, uh, and 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 I, I for a 
for my core value, even for a thing that's just supposed to be popcorn, I, I can't look beyond the blatant insult of if you do pick it up, I don't give a crap because we had to move on. So the whole tr the whole sequence in the tr in the trailer when he's beating up uh, Kapoor, the other actor. His scarf changed positions 27 times. <laughs> Once it was tied around the chair, then it wasn't tied, then it was tied around his neck, then it wasn't tied around his neck. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing happened with the holsters and the guns and the detectives that came to get him. They were on the right side at the beginning of the chase, and then the guy wasn't even wearing one when he fell, and then they were on the left side afterwards. And then yeah, later on when he's chasing Guarov on the rooftops, he falls and he has a stain on his white shirt, and then the next frame and the rest of the sequences, his shirt is spotless back from the dry cleaners. They yeah. just didn't care. Yeah. So no. as an audience member, I, I can't, uh, there's no way I can forgive that because you not only, there's one thing to have a continuity mistake. There's another one when you genuinely, clearly in editing and everything else, it was, we don't give a crap. Mm. Yeah, no, I saw a bunch of, uh, saw a bunch of continuity yeah. errors as well. Um, then, and also a lot of. It was strange because sometimes the action in terms of big action was fun, and then other times the choreography was very poor uh, and, and yeah. not good. At, like at times, like you clearly saw a guy punch him like this, and you literally saw the space in between him, <laughs> which is obviously a normal thing. That, that happens. You don't actually punch the actors usually, uh, and so but normally you you choreograph it so you don't see the foot of space in between you. <laughs> but again, don't care. <laughs> so I, I did see a bunch of that. Yeah, and and then obviously at certain times, including if his face was VFX I thought some of it was very good and then other times it was it was inconsistent very bad the, the, the um, VFX on his face was were inconsistent yeah, yeah. Uh, not just on his face I just uh, whenever they were like the, the rooftop yeah, scene I also then, I also love him standing in front of the camera for his photo in the prison when he mm -hmm. was getting his his shot and his his card says he's five foot ten first of all SRK is not five ten but what's funny is it says 5'10", and he's standing in front of chart that says he's 5'7". The measurement oh, is 5'7", but his card says he's 5'10". <laughs> I didn't notice that. Yeah. <laughs> the, the saying he's 5'10", I don't care about because Tom Cruise is tiny and they make him bigger all the time. But yeah, I didn't notice the thing in the back. That's quite funny. <laughs> Again, we don't care. <laughs> A lot of that falls on obviously the directing and that's the, on SRK the, too. Uh, the that's on the, SRK too. Um, uh, they should have with something this big. They should have a continuity expert. Obviously, I'm wondering if they absolutely did not with, no, a, with yeah, a lot and, of the. And, uh, I mean, so and the biggest, the biggest, as will always be for me, because movies, even just popcorn movies, it's storytelling. You're mm -hmm. telling a story. There's so many things about this story that are just plain stupid. I, I, I don't know how you watch this and maintain engagement with any sense of, and I'm not talking about somebody falls, you know, someone can point out how many times, for example, John Wick gets hit by a car and falls out of buildings. I understand that and the straining of credulity, but I'm talking about story things. Mm. There were there were I, I, ten at least ten different things that when they occurred, my thought was, in what world does that take place? So I was consistently yeah. There's a lot of uh, uh, stuff that is uh, constantly that, everything that, from, that you have to kind of in your mind be like, I guess that could happen. No yeah. way that could happen. <laughs> example: There's no way in a million years. Example. The kid that he was just holding is laid down in the bed and is not going to wake up as he has a fit in the bedroom yelling and breaking pictures and smashing glass. And the kid's just going to stay asleep on the bed that he brought the, the kid into. Mm, yeah. uh, there's not going to be a moment where th so the, 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 the star character, the, the Aryan Khanna, yeah. he knows the guy's name. This guy has won contests for this past several years, impersonating the star. Mm -hmm. In the wax museum, his hands are all over the wax figure. They have CTV footage of the guy, but because he doesn't have a particular alibi from 10 to 10.30, they can't get the actual culprit, and he's not going to name the guy, though he has the guy's name. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I noticed that as well. I, I just... <laughs> and why... why why would the police, after he has assaulted one of the biggest stars in Bollywood in his trailer, why would the big name star that SRK is playing 
care to go visit the guy in prison? And then why would they just let the guy go and say things happen? And his response is, yeah, I made a mistake after he kidnapped and assaulted a huge star. Why, why is he let go? And why isn't he prime suspect number one when all of the other things are happening? I, I've got 20 more. Oh, no, I... Uh... <laughs> I had the same. I had the same uh, issues uh, so, with with the yeah, film. There was it, a, it there was boggles, a, it boggles my mind that anyone would like it. There was a there was a, a a lot of times that I like if if you were to say yeah I guess that makes sense uh, you'd have to do a lot of straining of of the mind to to get that to make sense and uh, in in commercial films i will give a pass but there was a lot in this film that was like that and yes. I, I will agree um <laughs> and so yeah it's 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 why aren't you his wife why aren't you answering your cell phone i'll tell you when i come in okay come on in <laughs> i did i'm hugging you you're 2 inches smaller than my actual husband and your stature is less muscular and i'm sure you don't smell like him but hi honey no that's that's something I did like, though. You liked that the Shh. wife didn't know. It no, was she him. knew immediately. Oh, when she came in, right? Obviously, her she, she knew she, it was him. His face was down. She ran to him. She didn't know at that point because she wasn't looking at. Okay, him. but she figures it out immediately. And then what does she do? She knows that if this is the guy, she was going to go get the gun. So she wasn't going to make a scene because she thought she was going to bring the gun in ah. to get him out, rather than get the security guard downstairs. The gun is a lot faster than getting a security guard. It's right in the closet. Then obviously somehow he. Obviously, he just the kid somehow. Uh, yeah. Well, and he got the gun out of her hand. I mean, she. I mean, why go get the gun if you don't? If you're afraid to use it, why wouldn't you just come out and shoot this mother well, in the head? Oh, <laughs> I get that, and that's what you and I would do. But also, I think that's what any normal person would do in that situation. Not when they have your child, I guess, right in front of you. He laid the child down. Yes. Yeah. I, I told said, you. I literally told you I had the same issues. These are not the people you're looking for. He did a Jedi mind trick. No, I'm on her saying I, the gun. I, I'm, I'm never critical of people, especially that aren't familiar with guns, to be scared to use a gun. That's of a very not. common thing. I, what I was saying until you interrupted me oh, was yeah. she immediately knew once she hugged him that he was not the person. You saw it on her face because you obviously a wife knows when she hugs what it feels like to hug. Well, husband. Uh, you would think a wife would not let somebody in when they know there's a stalker all over the place and the guy at the front gate isn't sure it's him and his cell phone isn't on and says, I'll explain when I get inside. Yes. We already, we already went over oh. that part. <laughs> I'm saying, because I thought they were not going to have her realize it was not him. And I was scared. And I'm glad they actually did immediately once she hugged him. And obviously, probably didn't smell the same. Obviously, when you hold your significant other you know what it feels like to hold your significant other i would hope um and so she knew immediately upon hugging him um and then she obviously saw his face and his nose is completely different and that makes sense yeah um and how, how what did you think about the ending hold on what was the ending he fell down and then yeah they have the chase yeah he, it captures him you talking the fall down well just the, the climax, the, the cl climactic chase, and he captures him. And then lets him go, says, be, be good. Yeah, gives him the pep talk. Yeah. You don't have to be a bad guy. Just build yourself up like I did. Yeah. It's okay, buddy, yeah. chum, pal. I believe in you. Yeah, no, no, not a, not a huge fan. Yeah. Especially since he needs to clear his name. But I get, <laughs> they said that his name was cleared, but in, in, in actuality, it's like, was it? <laughs> But no, I would have. Uh, and, and then after, I would have, I would have preferred a much different. After idea. after all of that, after he knows the guy's name, he knows the guy's family, he knows he's in the city where he has won these contests year after year, impersonating him. His fingerprints are clearly at the museum. His fingerprints are clearly all over the things he broke and smashed and the gun he touched all over his house. There's CTV footage of him at the house. There's a witness of the security guard at the house. And when his wife says to him in the broken down bedroom, let's call the police, it's rational to say they won't do anything. I'll just take care of this myself. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. There was a, there was a, there was a lot of stuff like that in the film. 
I thousand percent agree. Okay. So yeah. So 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 the only takeaway from it, I gather, that was of there were, any was his main, portrayal of fan. The fan was mainly, and then there was some nice big action parts, but then there was also in the same hand of that a lot of bad VFX. Yeah. And also bad, especially when it was close up choreography. Bad close up choreography. I think like the bigger. I think they were trying to be Bond, like right. uh, MI3. Right. And so like, and I was like, oh, the grandeur of it is nice. Right. But then it's also messed up with all the bad VFX and. Uh, the... So so ultimately, would you say this was a film you liked or disliked? There was probably more I disliked outside of his fan performance. Right. In terms of the overall film. Okay. I liked. Yes. All right. Okay. I will say that. Okay. Um. But if we had to do it out of one, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> do it out of what? <laughs> oh, a scale. Jimmy, one out Jimmy of 10. Cage out of ten does. You know, what did he give it? it? He's not. I don't think he's seen it. There's, don't. There's not a lot. No need. There's actually not a. I think Jabby reviewed it, but the, when it came out, I believe. Oh yeah, because his, 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 he's been, been around, around for long. a long time, um, and he, he did an interesting, um, um, like dual. Like he was like. Old Jabby and Young Jabby. It's like this. Oh, it's it like a dueling. Very funny. Uh, oh, for <laughs> his review? Yeah, that's very, a cute idea. It's very funny. Um, but, anyways, uh, the, other than that, there's like no, like more, there's not really more recent kind of people that have seen or at least reviewed it. Um, so maybe they did and he didn't like it and didn't review it or who knows. Yeah. But, anyways, you guys can let us know what you thought about this film because uh, I've seen every reaction on this film across the map. Some people absolutely love this film. Some people say it's absolutely terrible. Um, and so I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of that in the comments. Of Probably. Um, great. You guys are idiots. And totally yeah, agree. I, yeah. I sometimes, and I appreciate them, I will get messages on Instagram from folks who are trying to help me understand something like the last movie yeah, yeah, yeah. when I appreciated that because yeah. I genuinely was, did I miss anything about this one? But if you if you love this movie... You will never say anything to convince me otherwise, so you don't need to message me. So we can just agree to disagree. Said the white man. Yeah. Am I right? That's right. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film down below. <laughs>